Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 24th of 2023. Well, it is titled the Medulla Nebula Supernova Remnant. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is called the medulla nebula because it may look something like a brain out in space, although it is actually just a supernova remnant, the remnant of a star that exploded long ago. And in fact, 10,000 years ago on Earth, it would have been seen to explode as a very bright object in the sky. Now, what happens when a star reaches the end of its life, it starts to fuse. Normally, a star fuses hydrogen into helium. That's what our sun does. When stars get age and have used up all that helium, hydrogen and burned it all into helium, then they start fusing helium into carbon. If they are massive enough, they can fuse heavier and heavier elements until they get up to iron. While you can fuse iron to make heavier elements, you don't get any energy out of it. It takes energy to fuse iron together and the star becomes unstable, collapses down, generally leaving a neutron star at the core. And then the material, the rebound pushes out all of that material and expels it outward in a cloud of gas that we will then see later on as a supernova remnant. And that's what we see here in this image. This has been expanding for 10,000 years. Now, this has been now, as I said, normally there would be a neutron star here at the center. And sometimes we can see those as a pulsar if they are orientated correctly. However, in this case, we don't see one. And what we found recently is that there is a pulsar, but it was expelled out of the supernova remnant at a very high speed and accelerating worth out of the galaxy altogether. So something happened with this supernova, whether it was part of a binary system or something else happening in there that actually expelled the, the pulsar outward and left the nebula altogether. So instead of with many supernovae, we can find a pulsar or a neutron star at the center. Here we find nothing. And that can also kind of explain that the pulsar that helped create this possibly also energized it, giving it extra X-ray light because it also glows in X-rays, which often supernova remnant will when they're younger, but not often at this age. So some very interesting things. And we're still learning about supernovae and their remnants. And really, the process of a supernova is still not completely understood how the, our models don't match up quite with what actually goes on. Sometimes the model simply can not expel the material out correctly. So there is still work to be done to better understand how stars explode when they reach the end of their lives. But one thing we do know is that for sure they do uh, they do explode if they are massive enough. So that was our picture of the day for April 24th of 2023. It was titled the Medulla Nebula Supernova Remnant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Mars flattened. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.